a customer who needs a small pole for their tent. Um, in this case, I know what they need. It's a nine and a half mil fiberglass pole. So we're using a pole repair kit and we're gonna cut the poles to length and thread them together to make the pole for the customer. So we need to have a hacksaw, a file to take off the third edges. A pen's always good to be able to mark the length of the pole. And then when we go to thread the pole, we'll use a needle and thread and some scissors to cut the shot cord. So the first thing we'll do, measure the pole out. Um, I'm going to measure it on one that's only got a ferrule on one end and no ferrule on the other. Okay, now that I've marked the pole, I'm going to put it in, in the vise. I have a vise that I can use here, but if you don't have a vise, you could use um, a, a brick and your foot or a couple of pieces of wood between it, just something that will hold it still while you're cutting it. So you want to take a hacksaw. With the hacksaw, you just want to apply gentle pressure. Don't force it, otherwise it will splinter the pole. Okay. So now our pole has been cut for length. On the end, it can be a little bit sharp and a little bit splintery. So if you grab a file and just bevel off the edges. Ending. I'm going to cut the pole to just below that. We have some more ferrules. Uh, I'm making this one. See this one's got two ferrules on it. The others only have. So it's got a ferrule and then this one's got a ferrule where this one's got two ferrules because it needs it to go into the pole sleeve so this ferrule will go onto that end and i'll glue it on and that makes that the same length as that so that's my three poles so i'm going to start with the threading the poles together i use a needle and thread And I just feed the needle through the top of the shot cord. And do a little knot, just a keeper, just to keep it there so it doesn't pull out when you're pulling on it. At the end without a ferrule. If the knot's creating a problem and the needle's not going through, maybe just put a bit of tape on it so it's not got something to catch on. If it's nags in the pole, sometimes just give it a bit of a bounce and a jiggle so it can gravity feed its way through. Just make sure that you have the fiberglass at the ferrule end not the other way around. Snip your chocolate up close down to the bottom. Put a knot in it. That's going to go through there. Give the top shot cord a bit of a tug so it's got still a little bit of slack but not really really a lot. Just 
just tie knots so I go back through. This one here, because we've got a ferrule on each end, I'll get some glue. We have a set of holes. Okay. 